My name is Sukhavat Ali Khan. I am third son of Ustad Salamat Ali Khan, the greatest classical vocalist in Pakistan and equally respected in India and all over the world. Wherever is the classical music, Shastriya Sangeet, music is alive. Music in our family is 700 years tradition. Somehow, we are keeping up that tradition. So our family had a big contribution in Pakistani music, especially the classical music. After 1947, my father went to Pakistan and he started singing classical. I think that's the reason classical music is still alive in Pakistan. We have Gharanas. Gharana means family. But in musical term, Gharana means musical families. So we have few Gharanas in, in Pakistan today. Very prominent. My Gharana, Sham Churasi School of Music. Ustaz Salamat Ali Khan Sahib home. He is more like my guru than my father, my teacher, my mentor, my friend, my everything. He said, son, this is time for you to be serious. And we used to get up early with him. You have to do courage every day. Stay on one note for 40 minutes. That's very difficult exercise, but it's a base, makes you a great singer. If you don't create feeling, if you don't feel a music, then you should do something else. Especially if I'm singing a Sufi song, it must be joyful danceable, static. That's a Sufi feeling. You have to know about Sufi thoughts to sing that song. If you're not that kind of person, it's not going to come, my friend. Rifat Salamat, she's my younger sister and she's a beautiful singer, first of all. And uh, I'm very proud to have a sister like that. A very beautiful voice and, and my family the woman never sing professionally, somehow, mostly men sings. And I'm the one who support Rifat to sing. We got some opposition as my family created the tradition of singing duet. I think we are the one also changing it, that women are singing in our family professionally. So we also break that tradition. And I think credit goes to our school of music. We are the first. Now, other school of music, their girls are also coming out now. They want to sing. So I think it's a really beautiful thing happened. In 21st century, everybody should get equal opportunity. And I think that's a beautiful thing. So Punjabi language, it's my mother language. I sing in Punjabi. And then national language is Urdu. So Urdu is very poetic language. The greatest poet like Mirza Khalib is equivalent to, is as equal to Shakespeare. Greatest poet ever. I will sing one of his songs. So we'll, you will know this. He wrote beautiful sonnets. We call it ghazals.
micro tone is is a small tone we call shruti see one sur one melody is one note Sufi music is actually first purpose of Sufi music is to be ambient. It should be trancey, other dimension. Close your eyes, you're dancing. Ali ka mertaba. Allahu Akbar. To me, Sufi means is that I respect everyone. It doesn't matter what kind of color race is or language you have. I want to respect everyone, and I want to eat with them on one plate. Compassion is the beautiful feelings to understand each other and love each other. And try to communicate with each other, sleep, enjoy life. And I think all the Sufis wanted to say us that. That's what Sufism to me. Harmonium is a beautiful instrument. And I tell you, my friend, you will be surprised to know that. This came with missionary from England. You will be surprised to know that the best harmonium players are in Pakistan right now, because the singing style goes with this instrument really well. So harmonium is it has three octaves. In our culture, Pakistanis, we respect the instrument. Instruments are like living thing. They're like our guru. They are our teacher. They are our friends. It's one of my family member. It's different than piano. First of all, you play with one hand. Play with the one hand. Next hand is for the bellows. It's very much in between piano and accordion. In order to play like harmonium, you have to know the ragas. Raga is Indian music. I'm saying it because the music is very old. What I'm singing. So now it's in both countries.
कहूँ